been in Cebu for a number of years. That's where we all started, no? from uh, uh, one residential uh, uh, economic housing project in Balamban, Cebu. We have most room to a number of projects. Uh, we're counting with 25. And part of those uh, uh, locations are now penetrating uh, different key cities. We're now in Cagayan de Oro with a project that we launched uh, uh, September of last year. And we're going to Davao with a project that will be launched in two weeks. So what we are trying to replicate is basically the successes that we have been able to generate over the years in Metro Cebu. And we have identified uh, key cities uh, in Davao, Cagayan de Oro, and this time we have also our positioning in Dumaguete, Bacolod, and Iloilo. Because we feel that these are places with strong potentials. Uh, the numbers about how consumer spending is so high in these places will augur well with our plans. So you've talked as well about launching six projects in Cebu and five more across the rest of Vizmin. Are you looking to keep those targets post-IPO? Yes, very much so. And uh, these are not just prospective projects. These are basically pipeline projects which are in different stages of uh, uh, f uh, construction phases. We're still very much focused on Cebu because we are geared up for more things. No? We are positioned on a high-end development, having acquired with uh, some JB partners uh, a major property in Cebu IT Park, which we're going to do a 38-story high-end residential condo uh, with a plaza that will have a mix of real of a retail and restaurant row and complemented by a second phase, which is an office building. So there are still a lot of actions uh, in Metro Cebu as well, entering into the hospitality uh, business and even not forgetting our flagship uh, where we started uh, in terms of developing uh, economic housing using our Casamira brand, which has been known already in Cebu and we're replicating other key cities in Visayas and Mindanao. Why go into hotels now? A lot of the other developers we've spoken to are also ramping up activity in the hospitality sector, uh, trying to, banking on an influx of tourists into the country, and which means more competition for you guys. There's going to be a brand new, more influx of tourists. And the rest of the country is also enjoying that kind of uh, growth in terms of tourist arrival. And uh, this is one uh, opportunity that we would like to also enjoy. Even uh, foreign brands like uh, Marriott, you know, who recently acquired Starwoods, are in the lookout. They want to have their presence here a lot more. Ascot is in the lookout. They just don't want to stick in Metro Manila. That's why they're already in Cebu through us. And they're looking for more. So we'd like to be part of that action. Uh, uh, occupancy rates are, are at all-time high, especially when there are special events that come along. No? And as any other developer would like to seize that opportunity. The second hotel that we're eyeing is a mixed-use development that we have in Mandawi City. It's along AS Fortuna. And the third one is being eyed in, uh, in Mactan. Bohol is a good target. Uh, you know how things have become very active there. And uh, I like the location because it's also very proximate to where we are. So in terms of managing it, it might be something just within our reach. A key part of your strategy involves catering to B for employees of BPO firms as well as OFW families. Those are in fact the two pillars of the Philippine economy. Um, but of late, there have been rumblings that uh, the you know, possible protectionist policies in the U.S. under the new president could hurt growth in those two sectors. Are you worried at all? We see that uh, remittances are still coming strong. Now, as far as the BPO, well, there has been continuous inquiries, no? not just on office expansion because of the the growth that we are experiencing here, but even for BPOs. I, I guess it, the, the, the point, and this has been echoed by all other developers, you know, that how can you compete with uh, how we do things uh, cheaper than even in other countries, you know, more developed than we are. 
the cost differential is just too wide for them not to anymore look at us. We continue to have that kind of cost advantage. No? And uh, we still don't feel the pressure. There might be certain concerns, but I don't see that opportunity going away.